Ladies and gentlemen, welcome this fourth day of the Congress. In this session, we will be discussing the new European Accounting Directive. You must be really keen in this topic after the uh, gala dinner yesterday, and I'm really pleased to see you here uh, in uh, this number. Um, this topic is uh, really following the key theme of this Congress, learning uh, from the past, building the future, because uh, this uh, directive was uh, accepted in July 2013 and needs to be implemented in July 2015 and uh, most of the companies will have to follow all these new provisions starting the calendar year 2016. So again, learning from the past, building the future. Maybe it's key to mention that this directive is not only about accounting, but it also sets the audit requirements for all European companies. And here I would like to stress that it clearly states that mid-sized companies and above need to be audited in Europe, and it gives full decision-making to member states about whether they require or not the statutory audit of small company accounts. It clearly does not force any member state to change the status quo as far as the audit requirement concerns. All states could stay where they are if they decide to do so. So, at the beginning, I would like to introduce the distinguished speakers in this session. We have Mrs. Claudia Mezzabota. She is the EFRAC SME Working Group member, coming from the host country of this Congress, from Italy. We have Florin Toma, who is the Vice President of the Federation of European Accountants, coming from Romania. And we have on my right side, Stig Enevoldsen as the Deputy Chair of the Corporate Reporting Policy Group of the Federation of European Accountants. And last but not least, we have Didier Millero as the head of the Unit Accounting and Financial Reporting of European Commission. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> since this... Um, session is about the directive. The main goals that we would like to cover during this uh, session are as follows. We would like to look at the key provisions <coughs> that are in uh, the new legislation that will need to be implemented in uh, summer next year in all member states. But we would like also to look on the goals of this new directive or were the ideas of the legislators when they started the legislative process, and how successful they were in their implementation. And finally, we would like also to cover what does it mean for the individual member states in the implementation. What are the challenges and what will change for the profession once the new directive is implemented? <coughs> 